Okay, so I want to go on um, into the project now, and the next thing you're asked to do is create a first line indent of 0.5 inches for the body paragraphs, and it gives you a range. So again, I want to point out to you, if you get to this and you think, God, I don't remember how to do a first line indent, then relaunch the training and click start on your training. And again, use this task list up here to maneuver through to find creating a first line indent. Now, while I'm in here, I do want to point out, if you've already done training, all these little lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, are going to have a green check mark beside them. I'm an instructor. I have not gone through this training uh, for this semester. I don't have any check marks. If you happen to be in here in a and an item is missing a check mark or it has a red X, that means you did not do that task. And to get a better grade on training, you need to work on that task. But let's assume that you've done everything and you want to come in here and find again how to create a first line indent. So you just need to um, look through here and you can see everything that was. Uh, covered like creating the hanging indent, but we're not looking for that. Find text we don't need. Find and replace. Insert. Let's keep going. All right, let's get back to the top because I saw it while ago. Update a style. Remove our header. Insert here. Create a first line indent. It's number eight. So we can launch it. Now if you have not, again, completed this one, you can do apply and just do it. Or you can practice and then apply. I just want to observe how to do it. Set a first line indent when you want to indent only the first line from the left margin. Click in the first body paragraph. Drag the first line indent marker to the half inch mark on the ruler. The first line of the paragraph is indented 0 0.5 inches. Okay, so now we know what we need to do, but here's something we might have um, also discovered. We might not know how to turn on those numbers across the top. So we, we need to come in here and, and also know how to show the rulers. So let's turn this on and say, okay, I gotta show rulers before. Display I can the up. horizontal and vertical rulers to help you position content and set tabs, indents, and margins. Click the View tab on the ribbon. In the Show group, click the Ruler checkbox to show the rulers. The horizontal ruler appears at the top of the document window below the ribbon, and the vertical ruler appears on the left side of the document window. Okay, so at this point I, I realize that I have got to turn on a ruler, and then I want to one more time watch how they create that first line indent. So I'm going to turn my rulers on under View. And then I want to observe one more time. Set a first line indent when you want to Pay indent only the first line from the left margin. To which of these arrows Click in the first body paragraph. are moved. Drag the first line indent marker to the half inch See, mark the on the ruler. It's at the top. So here's what we want to do now. The first line of the paragraph is indented. Zero. Okay, so now we're finished. Let's go bring back up our document here. So we're going to um, create a first line indent. The first thing they said is that we're going to need view. So let's switch to view and ruler. So now we have our rulers on. And the next thing is we're going to put our cursor right in front of when, go to the top triangle, and move it to the point 0.5, at which point we have created a first line indent. Okay? However, this one needs a first line indent too, see? Which we can do this way, or perhaps we can highlight 
and it will do all of the first line indents at one time. Okay, so that's something. So you don't have to go paragraph by paragraph. You can simply highlight what needs to be indented, I mean the whole area, and then use the top triangle to do the first line indent. But again, make sure you have turned on your ruler so that you are able to do that. Now the next one on here um, starts in, uh, wants you to respond to a comment in the first body paragraph. So if we go back up here, we have a comment here and we want to reply to it. It's, it uses, um, it says read the comment and then delete it. So let's look at it. You might need to cite a source for this information. It's not quite um, common knowledge. And then while we're here, we may wish to, uh, we're asked to delete it. We're not really going to resolve it, but we're going to uh, get rid of it like that. We don't want to reopen it. But you're sitting here, let's say you're sitting here and you're thinking, hmm, hmm, I don't know that that looks right. Maybe that's not really what they want me to do. Again, what do you do? You're going to go right back over to your course. You're going to get right in mind tap. Okay, and you're going to go, okay, what was that? That was, hmm, I need to delete uh, a comment. So maybe you come in here and you look down through here and see if you can find something about comments. And I'm scrolling through. Oh, look. Here's the comments. 35, 36. Oh, look. Here's delete a comment. So, again, you click on it. Hit observe. After you have read or otherwise no longer need a comment, you can delete it from the document. Click the comment in the document. Click the Review tab on the ribbon. In the Comments group, click the Delete button. So that's how I do it. Word deletes the comment. Perfect. So let me go back to my document and review. Okay, here I am. Let's see, we want to go back to Review. We've got this comment, Show Comments. Let's go here. This is the comment we want to uh, look at, right? And we want to delete that comment. So again, anytime you're stuck on something, go back to training and see if it will walk you through how to do it.